recommend, what do you recommend and do you recommend carb cycling or same macros daily? Um, so off season training split, that's kind of a general question. Um, for a greater majority of people watching this, your training split needs to give you equal attention to your entire physique. Okay. I think that the, the micromanaging specific body parts needs to come when you're an elite athlete. And then up to that point, it needs to be on building yourself from the ground up as much as you can. Um, so that's really just in general, my thought process on that. Now, specific body part splits, um, to me, it really comes down to more so what are you doing to enhance recovery and then just making sure that you're training everything equally as hard. And there's several ways like, you know, I mean, we can get into Nadia split. We could talk about, uh, there's a lot of different things, but I think really it, to not over obsess about the split, it's more so just about consistently giving effort, making sure that in some way, shape or manner that you're progressing within your, your loads or your reps or your rep execution. And then also making sure that you're recovering to a level to be able to increase your amount of work not be able to do the same amount of work over and over again. And I think that's where a lot of people settle within their training is that if they're accomplishing the same amount of work over and over again, they think they're being successful. Whereas really the goal is to be able to increase that workload over time, whether that again, be weight reps, not necessarily volume because that's kind of an infinite equation, um, but just really focus on those things. And then what was the second part? The second part was carb cycling or same macros daily in your off season. Again, it, it comes down to the, I think the thought process needs to be, I want to be able to eat as much food as I can in the off season while making progress, while being able to visually see that progress. So when I say making progress, I mean, in the gym, visually seeing that progress, what I mean by that is your progress pictures. And then, you know, monitoring your diet up and down to make sure that, that happens. I personally, and this is my thought process, I don't like to use or, or use off days as a major restriction in calories because the reason why off days are implemented is to help improve recovery. So if you're putting a gap in recovery from a caloric perspective, you're kind of baselining that ability to recover. So outside of minimal changes, again, as long you have to take in consideration your own insulin sensitivity and your own ability to either put on fat, store fat, not store fat. But within that, try to make the least amount of changes that you can on an off day to facilitate recovery and to not have a negative impact on your composition. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've noticed that even just in the short amount of time that I've been doing this compared to what I've done in the past, having um, the same caloric intake on an off day as I do a training day only helps the way I feel and my rate of recovery. Um, right. I think that some people can benefit from carb cycling in an off season. Um, for, for sure. Example, like, I mean, not necessarily bikini athletes because we're smaller usually and don't eat as much, but um, for someone who, this, this ties into the last question too, if you're eating a lot of food and when to kind of pull the reins back there, um, that I think would be a good time to implement a carb cycle, maybe adjust your insulin sensitivity, um, adjust um, your food on different training days. If you're feeling more fatigued on certain days than others, there might be better days to implement a higher intake than other days. Um, and then off season training split, I would just take advantage of the extra food and energy you have and just be able to go that much harder on the plan that you already have. Um, I wouldn't say that it's necessary to change a plan after you transition from a prep to an off season or vice versa. It just adjusts and gets modified to what body parts are lagging, what needs work, what doesn't need as much work, I think. Um, and just being able to utilize your food sources and um, the amount of energy that you have to go that much further into your current split and to just be able to make the most of that. Because that consistency over time, like you had mentioned, is I think just what's going to make the most progress for anybody. Right. Yeah. No, 